Hey guys, so um, got a package in the mail today from a Mr. Tom Chitwood. We did a trade and he included more than he was supposed to as per typical with Tom. Um, so first of all, I just want to thank him um, for everything and just kind of wanted to show off what he um, sent me. So the first thing, okay, so first, this is what we actually traded for. It's an old hickory that he modified into a cap heart style knife. It's really, really sharp. I already shaved off some hair with it. Um, he does really, really nice work. Shined it all up. Um, as you can tell, put a little choil in the handle. I might make that just a hair, hair bigger. Maybe not. He varnished it the whole, whole nine yards. Made it look like a million bucks. So it's awesome. He also makes um, sheaths. And I've been kind of between um, the leather and the kydex and you know this is they're both reasonably or I mean as far as prices go you can get cheap leather sheaths and you can get cheap kydex sheaths but I don't know I just haven't really been able to decide which I like best um, and uh, Mr. Chitwood here does nylon um, webbing sheaths and I am impressed I think they are going to wear really really well um, they're the top is just two inch nylon webbing the back is that that thicker um, webbing that is stiff so it's still pliable but it's stiff he makes everything molly compatible and then it's got a place where you can make it a dangler so I might have to ask him to make me a piece that matches this that uh, for the dangler you can put your belt right through there so there's a lot of options it's pretty lightweight obviously it's lighter than like leather um, I'm, I don't have any legit kydex so I can't tell you how much that weighs but everything I mean is really nicely stitched He's got a Velcro closure up top. The knife fits perfectly. It's uh, still got a, the knife comes to about there. So you got, you can actually see the outline on the video there. So you're not worried about cutting open anything. The knife blade actually doesn't even go as far as the stitching. The stitching is really, really nice. It's all double stitched, looks like. Here's the Velcro closure, which I really like. If uh, if something happens and the Velcro gets wore out over time or whatnot, it's pretty easy to replace. So I like that, and I think this is going to wear rather well, um, which is what I'm really excited about because I hate spending money on stuff and then you know a couple years later it's wore out and you got to do it again or whatnot. Um, so it fits perfectly. I'm so excited about this knife. I'm definitely going to have to get another one from him. Um, it's probably going to be my go-to. It just, it's so usable. It's, it's not too thick, but not too thin. It's sturdy, but it's cheap enough that if you beat the hell out of it and you need to get another one, life will go on. Okay, I have a uh, Pathfinder trade knife, which is worth about a hundred bucks. I traded for it, so I didn't pay cash money, but I paid in gear. And, um, it's it's a lot thicker, it's a lot heavier. Uh, I'm not afraid afraid to beat on it, but I don't know. I just don't use it as much as I thought I was going to. I think because it's so thick and so heavy, and um, this is just so user friendly that this is going to be awesome. I'm so excited to uh, use the crap out of it. And like I said, if you wear it out, I don't think you can. But if you beat the crap out of it and break it. You can either modify it, because I've seen people, they break the tip off of the 7-inch butcher, which is what this is made out of, and they make it into this. But if you were to break this tip off, you just make it into a smaller blade. Okay? You'd have to really beat on this thing. I, I don't know. But it seem, this one seems tighter than... Uh, I have the, the original, the 7-inch butcher, the full, full knife, how it comes. I have that, and it doesn't feel as nice as this one does. This one feels solid feels more this is a ten dollar knife okay obviously he puts money and labor and whatnot into it but it's a ten dollar knife for the actual 
the knife, the handle, the pins, everything put together. So that's amazing. I'm just super excited about that. I can't say enough about it. Again, Tom, I'm going to have to get with you and see what else you need because um, I'm going to have to get some more stuff from you. It's just amazing. If you, if you have old hickory needs or these nylon sheath needs, Tom is the guy to check out. He's awesome to deal with. So then, on, so this is what the trade was for. Then he threw in a Laplander sheath and a striker. I had talked to him about how I wanted um, a striker uh, for a, fer a ferro rod striker, and he was talking about the parry knives, the old hickory parry knives, which he doesn't like really like to do because they're a smaller knife, but they're the same cost as a 7-inch butcher, $10 or something like that. Anyway, so this he just threw in. It, I've been want, I was going to order one from him when I got a little bit more money or see what he needed and so I could get him something. Um, it is awesome. I really love the color. It's like a a green, but it's like an olive -y green and then olive drab maybe and then like a, a tan coyote. So this again, I don't know, this is more for a dangler. You couldn't really put your belt through. I mean you could, but you'd be in the way of the molly. And then it's got the, the molly attachment, which is really great. And then, uh, again, like I said, it's that it's got the Velcro, which I said, it's really easy to replace. So if it gets all nasty after a few years, um, not a big deal. And it fits just beautifully. So there's with the Laplander in it. So that's with the lap lander in it. That looks really nice, fits perfectly. Um, I love it. He's even got the little loop on here so you can make it a dangler. Awesome. Last but not least, he made me a striker. So the sheath, <clears throat> I think it's like a vinyl, but he legit stitched it. I don't know if you can tell. That's really nice. Just something to protect your other gear, really. So, um, looks like a, just a piece of a hack saw blade here, or a, one of those small saws, plywood or wood saw, and then he put a handle on it, he's got a lanyard hole on it, and he's got, um, like a finger groove so you can grip it really nice just with two fingers, just like that. And it's got a nice 90 degree spine on it. <clears throat> so, I have to show you how it works. Just awesome. Okay. Works better than the back of my hundred dollar knife. Just this is a striker that this this is the all weather fire starter. This is the striker that it comes with. It's a really nice striker. But for all my other ferro rods, I'm not gonna take this off because I want this to be one unit when I need it. But for my other ferro rods, because I don't take this with me everywhere because it's big and bulky, if I just take a simple ferro rod, this is what I'm gonna be using. Um, it's really lightweight, it's compact, it's comfortable, and it does a really good job. Thanks so much, Tom. Um, I will definitely be contacting you for further needs, but you did awesome work. I'm really excited to get out and use it, and uh, thank you so much. Also, I need to do a little plug. So, if you haven't seen my previous video I did on um, all of the stuff that I got at the state fair, um, I talked about a woodsman area and my fiance actually went last year without me and she found this area and made sure that we could go this year because she knew that I'd really like to go and see all that stuff. So I want to make sure I put that little plug in there. She found the place and she found all the cool stuff. I just bought it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.